Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to uh, I'm going to show you how to create uh, this facade in Rhino. It's going to be a simple tutorial tutorial where I'll show you uh, the techniques for uh, most efficient way of modeling this kind of simple facade. So we're just gonna go over. Uh, we're gonna start from 2D and we're gonna create this shape uh, in Rhino, and then we're gonna extrude this uh, in the back to get this look. So first thing we want to do is actually import this in Rhino, this image. Let's import it as a picture frame. And now we're gonna just uh, actually lock it. But first let's change, uh, let's change the transparency here so that we can draw on top of it. And now let's lock it and uh, we're gonna simply start drawing for example i'm gonna use polylines and i'm going to uh, draw on top of this drawing uh to get to, to to cover all these lines so i'm just gonna uh now quickly do this and then uh we'll we'll continue so the good thing about rhino here is that you can uh use it both for 2D and 3D work. I actually use Rhino for both um, different kind of uh, like graphic design things and creating boards and all of the creative stuff because it gives me flexibility to, uh, to actually uh, quickly move from vector to 3D and this is the beauty of it so I suggest everyone to use a Rhino as much as possible uh, when it comes to 2D because uh, the benefits are really like quite huge once you get get used to it. So uh, you can also actually import and uh, import line these lines in in Illustrator, so you have a full vector capability. And even when you're creating some kind of 2D shapes, uh, you will you will be able to easily transform this to to vector, and then modify it further. So right now I'm just uh, I'm trimming here the uh, the axis geometry. So as you can see, just like in AutoCAD in Rhino, you also have all these similar commands like like trim and extend and uh, it's really like um, quite useful when you need to draw something quickly and if you know for example any CAD program or AutoCAD you know how quickly you can draw when you know these commands so it's all about just learning the same commands here in Rhino and then you'll be able to to model everything much faster than before so now I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna imitate on these panels here, I'll copy them, okay, let's delete the extra ones and let's delete here as well, so we can move this line up like this and trim again, like this. And now let's trim also the top. Okay, so now we're useful command that, that we can use for these uh, for these panels because as you can see, I would need to trim all these elements here. For example, we need to do this on each one of them to, to create this shape. But uh, there's an easier way. <clears throat> you can use command cur curve boolean and you select all the curves. And you just you just click on the region you want to keep. So I'm just gonna click in these areas here. And once I'm once I'm done with this, it will create uh, closed polylines for me. And this is what I need. And these polylines will uh, will allow me to create uh, 
uh, 3D geometry much quicker than than if I would have to do this manually. So uh, very useful command. I use it every time when I need to do things like this. So it's definitely something you want to remember. Now when I'm ready, I press enter and here's my close polylines. I can actually move them to another layer because I will use them later on. And let's hide them and let's delete all of this. This is the geometry that's behind, like this. So when I turn it on, I have my panels here. Okay, so the next thing is I want also this big shape. So I also want, okay, let's trim these guys and let's select curve boolean again. And this is my panel that I will use. Let's move it to another layer. We can delete these guys now. This will leave. All right. So let's just here. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim these guys here and here. Don't need them. And uh, for the doors, yeah. Let's just let's just use the same. And let's offset it inside like so surface so that you have this panel here okay so now i'm gonna um, i'm gonna use my planner surface to create surface from this and uh, i'm gonna quickly start creating surfaces for all the other ones as well but before doing that let's just create this fillet effect here on the edge let's offset this one more time and let's use fill it. Let's see the radius. Now it needs to be a little bit less. 1.5, for example. Yeah, something like this. Okay, that's good for now. And here on the top as well. Here, let's use one. Okay. And let's offset this 0.5. That's good. And now I'm gonna use curve boolean again to get this closed. Let's move it to another layer. And let's let's delete it now. Okay. So once I'm happy with this, uh, uh let me just see. Okay, we're missing a line here that's this line oh this line oh, we're missing a line here okay all right so i'm just gonna here curve boolean these guys as well and this one as well okay so now we have all of them and we can slowly start to build this up. So since I don't need this image anymore, let me hide it for a second and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this here, copy it and rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, let's move it up. Okay. So now, First thing, let's uh, let's create this. So uh, one very useful command that you can use is, for example, if you have this line that is open like this, and you want to get this shape at the end, and then you want to connect it like this. Of course, you can do it like that, and you can say join. And it will work but if you want to do it quicker you can just select boom it and say close curve and it will automatically close it so it will connect the two ends of the curve so just type close curve boom there you go so very useful um, so right now let's let's continue and first okay let's do this guy and 
let's select all of these and let's say planar surface or actually no let's extrude them and let's extrude them let's create here solid and minus 0 0.1 okay so it should be plus zero point one like so so we have our wood here and we have the back panel as well uh, we have the doors now let's select this guy plan a surface this guy plan a surface and this guy um, what else yeah we need this one because this is a glass one and these elements here okay so this is the 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 part that we still didn't do i'm just gonna use vertical rectangle and for this one as well i'm gonna use a vertical rectangle again to have this edge here okay and we have our geometry now so now i'm just gonna go over some perspective used to see what needs to be extruded how much so let's start with this guy move it in in front right in the back like this and here we can extrude this curve okay and now these guys like this let's move it a little bit in front this one as well okay and let's extrude the doors a little bit and these guys and of course we can extend this because uh needs to be extended more like this okay so so this is this is our uh, our model and uh, this is how you can actually uh, create it very fast from from 2d image that we we placed here i'm just going to quickly render this now and show you the result and uh, if you like this kind of videos please share and subscribe to this channel and uh, if you think that somebody will uh, benefit from this, uh, send them this video to check it out. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.